Oh, what do we do? What do we do about MetaZoo? What's up guys, Mason here, Cardinal. Wanted to give you guys my thoughts on the latest expansion of MetaZoo UFO and really talk about just what it's doing. And uh, it's, it's not, not great to look at, let me tell you. So UFO is what, I'm a week old now? Where it's been out in the public? Um, partners of MetaZoo are supposed to have a, a map policy on the current product right now. If you're not aware of what that is, map is basically a artificial floor that you can advertise the product at. And anybody that's a partner should be, should be at MSRP for the first two weeks, apparently, of, of, of release. So that means partners are selling a UFO boxes at $140 a box and this is again a week week after release uh, TCG player has UFO boxes at $80 a box shipped now MetaZoo partners that get it directly from MetaZoo have a lower cost than if you got it through distribution I got my stuff through distribution I was paying $70 a box the person that I'm thinking of when I looked this morning at TCG Player and has their stuff for UFO booster boxes at eighty dollars. Has three hundred and seventy-five of them listed at that price. That is a huge amount of product, and if they got through distribution, they are absolutely losing money. If they're partners, if they're a partner store, then they have a little better cushion that they may be making a little bit of money. But again, if they're a partner, they're not supposed to be selling it for that much. And that kind of leads into the first situation with MetaZoo that is frustrating from a, a LGS store aspect. That if you are a partner store or a, any sort of partner in this program, that MAP is punishing you for carrying this product and being a supporter of MetaZoo when other businesses um, are just not following the rules so the artificial floor that you're trying to create by having a map policy is really just dinging the people that are your best supporters and people that want to support you the most and you know when you have uh, football Pete on eBay with you know hundreds and hundreds of boxes that he's selling and he's selling them at like $90 on pre-order and then again on TCG player this guy the, poor business that has these boxes up for $80 shipped and you know it's eight to twelve dollars to ship something a booster box and you again if he's a partner I guess he's really just trying to recruit his money and and, and just get out of it because I'm assuming uh, the band hammer will be coming down on them if they have any sort of margin there because if you're breaking map at that egregiously uh, I think that's uh, a bad sign. That is just a bad sign in general. That uh, booster boxes that again are supposed to be 140 are uh, on TCG Player a week after release at 80. So it's really a bummer. I I I really it's a it's a rough spot to be in if you are MetaZoo and trying to again keep prices and 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 products elevated to where businesses and LGS can make money, but then the nature of the beast. That is just the economic times right now, and just running the store in general. That you really need to get your money in and out of these products. And again, the first like two weeks is absolutely critical to selling the product. If you are stuck with product after two weeks of release, you're going to sit on it for a little while because all the momentum and all the excitement behind a release is pretty much gone two weeks after the fact. So. It's a bummer. It's it's. I hate to see it. I really like Menazu. I, I I like the idea of it. I like, and I've talked about this in other videos too. I am not a, a poo pooer of Menazu. Uh, I actually saw some people play the game, and, and it looked actually pretty entertaining, and it had some strategy to it, and it was looking really good. I was really impressed with what I saw. It's, it's really is like a nice little like 
like a little a little magic clone with a little other little extra uh, things taken from other games. It's 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 a it's a nice little system from what I saw. So it's it's kind of a bummer to see it not doing well in the player base. It's it's hard. It's hard to enforce any sort of map when you don't have the notoriety where people are going to listen to you and distributions doesn't care. They're not going to enforce it for you. And unless you send them a list to not sell to these stores anymore, which I would assume is going to happen unless they change this policy, that a lot of the partners are going to be kicked out of the program. But then how do you grow a, a, a game or an IP or any sort of get any sort of traction if you don't have in a lot of stores where people can get their eyes on it? It's, it's rough. It's a, it's a hard place to be in right now. So I don't know what the answer is. It's a rough one. Like I said, it, it's, 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 a hard, it's a hard push to do any sort of enforcement in when you're trying to grow a game and, and, and try to get people to take risks on it still. Uh, I don't know. It, it, I, would, I would be probably focusing more on trying to grow the, the player base and, and trying to come up with ways to steal players from like you know Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, people that are already playing this game and get it in their hands maybe for a, a good cheap price or even have like little free welcome decks maybe that LGS is thinking about or you know a little like 30 card deck kind of thing where you can play against each other in a little short game and you know maybe we can sell them for uh, a couple bucks just to recoup the costs and hope that they get interested in the game want to play some more. It's hard. It's really hard. It's hard to know what the right strategy is and really what what MetaZoo themselves want to do to or what their goal is. And that's kind of been the long-standing issue of like, okay, it's Major League Collectors, but TCG's got to have players if you want to last for, for multiple years. And they're really trying to push the uh, big tournaments that they have, trying to give away big cash prizes and we're still not seeing like a huge turnout for that sure i think that the the big event had like 300 players or something like that that's okay but for the amount of prize money that was involved it should have been a, a huge colossal amount of people that wanted to come into that i was expecting uh more um i, I thought that we, we could probably do more but it's uh it's, it's a hard play and tcgs and starting tcgs is so hard and trying to get people to pick it up is so hard and if you don't have players, the singles don't have any sort of value. I think there's one card in in UFO right now that's like above fifty dollars, and then the rest are like fifteen to ten, and then it tapers off from there after just a couple. It, it's it's hard to get anybody to want to open anything and really crack these packs if there's just not anything of value holding and maintaining any sort of price. It's rough. It's really hard to. It, it's hard. TCGs are not easy. It's not an easy thing to do, especially when you're trying to build a, an entire ecosystem around it, an entire IP around it. It's hard. Um, UFO is rough. Uh, again, I, I, I foresee some sort of changes coming to this, this policy, this partner policy, because it's not enforceable. It's not a thing that we can expect people to follow when the, the, the product isn't maintaining any sort of value on the secondary market as far as card singles. It's, it's, it's not a thing that can happen. So two things are going to happen. Or one of two things. They're either going to really crack down and, and really limit who can have MetaZoo product. But again, that is to their detriment because they want people to see this game and know that it exists and get it out there in front of people. It's rough. Uh, or the second thing is they're just going to forego that entire thing and just kind of have like more supportive benefits to partners and releases are just going to have to do what they do. And I think um, the second way is the easiest way, but uh, we're going to see what they want to do. It's, it's going to be interesting. But that is what UFO is doing. Uh, not great. Um, and price is just, it's not there. It's not there for, for any sort of playability standpoint. And there's very, very little incentive to crack boxes other than to get, like, serial cards 
which, uh, and again, uh, like TCG Player, again, the largest marketplace out there, doesn't have any pictures up for their card singles from UFO. I didn't even see the product listings up until like the week of release, which again is, is to the detriment because stores can't do pre-orders and the, the, the veil of secrecy behind MetaZoo and what they're trying to do and, and surprise people and get people hype and excited, it's, it's really becoming to their detriment when they have these partners and these people and, and LGSs that want to sell their stuff and be like, we don't know what's in the product. We don't know what cereals are going to be. They're, we don't know if there's going to be giant gold flashy cards or anything in there. We don't know. We don't know what it's going to be. Hey, pre-order it, though. It's a hard sell. It's a hard sell, and it's it, it's not something that works. There's a reason why TCGs have, like, spoiler seasons, and people know this stuff weeks in advance, and people are doing deck builds and stuff and, and doing projections on what cards are good and what's bad and sets even before they're released. So it's... I'm, I'm interested to see what MetaZoo does going forward. And this is really going to be a, a critical turning point for the game as a whole and the, the, the brand as a whole because from somebody that's just casually trying to, to sell the product, uh, I still have... I think I sold like two or three boxes. And, and yeah, it, it's, 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 it's rough. So... I had a lot of people call and were interested in it, but yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. Anyways, that's what I got. That's where MetaZoo's at. That's where UFO's at. Uh, we're going to see what it does uh, here going forward. And what, uh, Seance? Seance, I think, is the next set. Hopefully, uh, we'll see some changes with Seance. Anyways, appreciate you guys clicking on the video, watching the videos, supporting the channel, supporting the store. I'm going to see you guys in the next one.